There's a lot of stuff going on with China. The China economy is crashing. It doesn't look good. It looks really bad. Now here's the thing. What happens to Forex? Is Forex over? Is this the end? Or are we still able to? Yeah, but how much can you give me for the house? Mm. Mm, okay. All right. It's official. The Lambo, the Maybach, the Rolls Royce, and the house are all officially for sale. Now, nah, but on a serious note, come to my office. We got some issues with the markets. Let's talk about it. Let's get down to the bottom of this. Come on. So as you guys know, crypto, very low. Stocks, very low. Housing markets, really high at one point, but it seems like we're actually coming back down to the downside because, oh my God, prices of houses have officially started dropping. Interest rates, as you guys know, have risen. It's just been, it looks to be the, you know, the start of what people hate to say, but uh, a recession, recession, recession. Now, while I don't think we're currently in a recession, I do think we're heading towards one definitely by mid 2023, if not the very beginning of 2023. But, you know, unfortunately, by definition, we are in a recession. Look it up, look up the definition of recession. You're gonna find out that we are in a recession right now by definition. So let's talk about it. Talk about how we can actually benefit from the recession and you know what's gonna happen with Forex or stocks or crypto or all these different markets. So I kind of want to just start with you know the fact that stocks are very low, crypto is very low, everything else is starting to come down. You gotta remember if you are a long-term holder during a recession drop, whatever the case may be, you shouldn't be very affected by the drop because at the end of the day, the historical data shows that overall when price does drop in any kind of market, it does come back. Now this doesn't count for coins. This doesn't count for little cryptos that, you know, some guy made in his mom's basement and he's trying to like rug pull and get all this money from. That doesn't count. But if you look at the big stocks, Apple, Target, Walmart, or maybe the housing market, I mean, when all of these markets are affected and they come down, they always come back. Okay, you have to look at the price of the US dollar. It's dropped and dropped and dropped and all the value of things have gone up. As this happens over the years, you see all these changes, these recessions, these drops. Overall, if you look at the big graph, right? The big picture, we are constantly going up always, okay? And you do have those little drops, but you're always coming back up. So again, if you were long-term holding crypto, stocks, a house, you're not gonna be affected by this in the long run, right? Like in 10 years, this won't really matter because price will still be 10 times higher than it was when we dropped slash before we dropped, okay? So always remember that if you're long-term holding anything. Now here's the thing, what happens to Forex? Is Forex over? Is this the end? Or are we still able to trade Forex? I mean, this is a question I get every single day is during a recession, what happens to Forex? You guys gotta remember, with Forex, it's just not the same as crypto. It's not the same as stocks. It's not the same as a housing market. When you trade stocks, you're buying low and hoping to sell high. Now with Forex, it's a whole different concept. The way Forex works is you're pretty much either shorting or longing a position against another position. If that made any sense at all. Realistically, if you trade something such as Euro USD and you're longing that position, you're pretty much betting against the US dollar and you're expecting Euro to go up as US dollar drops, okay? You're looking for different fluctuations of prices. It's really hard to explain, but the main thing is, is kind of, you know, you're not buying low and selling high. It's not the same thing. Here's what you gotta understand, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on with China. The China economy is crashing. It doesn't look good. It looks really bad. Honestly, they've just been through so much in the last couple of years, and now it's starting to take a toll on their economy. Now, a lot of people don't think that the US economy is gonna be affected by the China economy, but I wanna name a couple different reasons and you know ways that it will be affected, okay? Trade, the US dollar value, and the US debt. It's all gonna be affected because of China's economy. So you gotta remember, if China's having issues, we're gonna have issues overall due to their issues. Sounds like a bunch of issues. We got issues here, issues here, causing issues everywhere. But I'm not a rapper. So the main question I get is how can I avoid making losses or taking losses while trading Forex during a recession or during drops or during news events and all this crazy stuff? Here's the beauty of Forex, man. This is the beauty about it. You do not have to trade any given pair on any given day. If you want to avoid anything that's related to China and the US, you can trade something like CAD CHF, which is just Canadian, versus Swiss franc. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss franc. Swiss franc. You're avoiding any news event that could happen in either, as long as the news that's in China or US does not affect or correlate with Canadian or Swiss franc. 
then you're gonna be good. And this is the beauty of Forex, and this is why I love trading Forex, and I tell people all the time, Forex is the best market to trade. Not only can you avoid news pertaining to certain pairs, but I mean, you can long or short, meaning you can make money off of the downfall of a certain country or the rise of another one. So realistically, US is going through so much NASDAQ is dropping and dropping, and US 30 is dropping and dropping, and all these different things are going on, you can short that position and make so much money. It's ridiculous how much money you can make shorting US 30, which is really just 30 big US stocks. So you're still trading stocks on a Forex platform, but you're making a ton of money along the way. Now this is the same process that you could take with USD JPY. Okay, you're trading the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. Again, let's say Japan is going through it. It has been bad. I mean, the yen is just not looking so good. People don't want to travel there. Buy USD JPY while the news is sh you're gonna be in for a treat because US dollar is going up, JPY going down, meaning overall, because USD is the main pair you're focused on against the JPY, you're going up with it. It's so versatile in the sense where you can trade what you want, when you want, any day you want, during what hour you want. And you're not gonna have major fees. Like when you buy a crypto or you buy a stock and there's these fees for pulling out early and all this crazy shit. You don't gotta deal with that with Forex. You can get in and out of this market and really turn your phone into an ATM. Now, just to show you guys how versatile the Forex markets can be, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how the last couple weeks have went for me trading. As you guys can see, man, we ended up profiting $343,000 just in a few weeks. Withdraw $185,000 with a balance of $158,000 still here, ready to trade. And then just to show you guys, this is a real account. Uh, no bull definitely don't ever hide numbers i don't demo trade i show you guys all the real shit because i want you guys to realize that this is real and again our results are not going to happen for everybody not everybody has a lot of money to trade with or they still need to build up their capital whatever the case may be this is not something that's going to happen overnight it takes time okay but if you start now then later down the road when we are in recessions or going through it or whatever the case may be you can still make money this is the most valuable profitable market in the entire world now forex has a really bad i mean a really bad name and i understand there's a lot of people out there who do scam using forex because there's demo trading there's ways to really finesse it and just like fake people out if people aren't showing you real accounts they're not showing you withdrawals or their bank account statements all that good stuff well then you're probably getting played because it's very easy do you see how fast i can show you guys a withdrawal on a real account it took me two seconds to show you that so if people don't show you that you're getting played but again you know back to my main point stocks are down crypto's down the housing market's down no it's not down forex because forex can't go down unless the entire world is going through something even during covid i was still making money trading so really even if the whole entire world goes through something you can still make money now look if you guys want strategies on how to actually trade the forex markets and all that good stuff i'm not going to charge you for nothing that's not what i'm here to say clarity forex is my free forex app i'm breaking stuff down all the time i'm showing you guys how i trade every single day not to mention my youtube channel has all this amazing content on it but anyways the clarity forex app is 100 free no charge for how to learn to trade nothing like that i'm teaching you guys everything that i got for free on the clarity forex app on my youtube channel i don't charge to teach i teach and i show you guys all the goods and the, the sauce i show you guys the sauce so comment down below on this video if you want to see more videos like this you want some more breakdown videos strategy videos whatever you guys want to see let me know i'm coming at you guys with a vlog i want to do more real life stuff i'm tired of sitting in this room my cheeks hurt i want to walk around and show you guys my life that's the goal for moving forward okay if you got knowledge out of this video please hit that like button lets me know that you guys with the content you guys want more follow my instagram at momfx trading i doubt anybody's still here because i've seen retention rates and they usually don't last till the end i'm probably talking to myself at this point so i'm just gonna just go i'm just gonna go love you guys peace